So I'm um, Rashad Mansuri, uh, Marketing, Bugle Labs. And, uh, and what have you got in your hand? So we've got here what CNET has called Lego for Gadgets. And uh, speaking of CNET, just five minutes ago we won the best of CES Emerging Technologies uh, category, so we're quite happy at that. Bug is a series of snap-on hardware modules. Each individual functional components you see here. Basically, you snap these together to make your own device. Any device you can imagine, you can make with a bug. So we have a touchscreen LCD, full color. We have a digital camera slash video cam. It's five megapixel and it's got flash. We've got a motion sensor slash accelerometer. And we've got a GPS. And this is a dummy unit we like to use uh, when we talk about mobile applications. The part that's in your hand. This is a bug base, and it's the heart and brains of the bug experience. It's basically what powers and what makes your bug device a reality. It's got a 532 megahertz ARM processor. It's got 64 megs of uh, flash, 128 megs of RAM, 802.11bg, and it's got an internal battery also. So it's a pretty powerful computer. All Linux-based, all Java, uh, full stack. So I have it here in my left hand of the bug base, and I have the bug camera module here. What I want to do is snap this in, do a little activation with the hotkeys, and immediately I have a camera. Now, let's say I'm not a lefty, but a righty, so that's fine. It's already activated. Move it to the right. Now I can play around with it in my right hand. It's more comfortable. Now I want a viewfinder. I want to see what photos I took with this. So literally just snap on the LCD module, and I have a viewfinder. I can take a photo. I can access it via the camera. There you go. Now let's say I'm a, I'm a podcaster, or let's say I'm a blogger, and I do a lot of video blogging. I can take this touchscreen, move it to the other side of the bug base, which has a camera, and immediately I have a webcam with the screen that I can see. I can add on a GPS, and now I have a GPS-enabled camera or blogging platform. And all I got to do is activate them via the hotkeys and move it around, like such. Uh, now, I designed a camera here. I got the camera on the front. Here's the motion sensor accelerometer. Let's put this in front, and I just change a GPS phone into a home security system. We have 81 modules planned, by the way. With these four modules. Sorry, say that number again? 81, spec'd out. We basically got together over a weekend and thought of as many things as we could. That includes servo motor, credit card reader, RFID scanner, what have you. How long would it take one of your skilled engineers to make 81 modules? Oh, wow. Uh, or any one of them. <laughs> well, that's why, uh, that's why we're actually opening this up to the community. This is all open source. We um, really rely on the community not only to make the applications for the bug, but also the modules. The hardware is open source as well, meaning that we can take it out of the bug plastic and you can just tinker with the PCBs. Nothing about this proprietary. There's even screws that you can unscrew with a Phillips instead of a special hex nut or special round uh, screwdriver. Um, so we'll provide the uh, resources necessary for people to make their own bug module. So your picture of this is that I might design a module and then uh, publicize it maybe, maybe through your own website. Yeah. You can collaborate with someone through BugNet, uh, located thousands of miles away, who has a perfect autofocus uh, 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 solution or software, and you have the perfect white balance algorithm. You make the mega device that can compete with top shelf cameras on the market today. One particular application I like, uh, which is developed externally, is called the GPS to do. So whenever you're in an area or a specific coordinate, you'll be told what to do based on the information you set for that coordinate. So let's say you say 36 flat, 40 long is a safe way. And let's say I gotta pick up milk next time I'm at the grocery store. Next time you step foot in a safe way or anything, you know, of that sort, any grocery store, your uh, L C D screen will say pick up milk. We uh, we wanna enable the long tail of devices. Or you guys are familiar with the long tail. Essentially we wanna let people create very niche, very specialized devices that suit their needs or the need of a very select few people, what have you. This is essentially a rapid uh, prototyping platform for design geeks, folks that want to make devices that no one else has thought of. March 17th, this will be available to all. We're taking pre-orders in uh, two weeks, January 21st. We're doing the bug base for 349, and the modules will run between 59 and 119. But within the first two months, we want to offer the early adopters an incentive to purchase. So rather than $349 for the bug base, it'll be $299. The bug modules are going to be uh, accordingly priced, but they'll be between $49 and $99. And we hope this will be part of a trend, a larger trend, of moving towards an open state of electronics.